be sure to like subscribe subscribe for loves <laughs> welcome back to my channel i'm gonna give you my real estate update here it's gonna be for condos and edmonton and how i go about looking for deals so the first thing I do when I'm looking for deals is I drive by to potential properties. When I drive by to properties, I just take a look at what's happening. Is there people moving in and out of the property? Is there a lot of units for sale? Is there a lot of vacant units? Um, a simple drive through, a drive around the property, you get a lot of information. You get to see what's happening if you're taking good care of the building. And if there's any deferred maintenance, you could research like who manages the property, if they're a good property management company. And these things can be done just by driving by and looking at a potential property. The other thing I look for is I try to find any type of marketing material they may have on the property. The marketing material might show like how long they've been trying to sell the units in the building. And gathering this information is gonna help you to see um, how motivated people are to sell in the building. It's also gonna like help you to know who you are dealing with when you're purchasing the property, if you're purchasing it from a person who bought a property in the building or if you're purchasing it from someone who basically developed a property. And knowing that type of information can give you um, an advantage with regards to the kind of discounts you can get. These are just some stuff that we do ahead of time. Other things you need to do is evaluate what's happening in the market. I'd like to drive around a neighborhood, get some more information. See if there's other properties being built in the area, because if there's more properties being built in the area, you know, this is going to give some competition for the unit over here. And you may be able to get a better deal on the older property because it's adding more supply and some more competition. The other things I look at is what's happening with the businesses around the area. Is there a lot of places for lease? Is there a lot of places for rent? Is there a lot of places for sale? This type of information is going to give me a little inside of what's happening in the market over there. If we don't see any good signs of what's happening, there's potential for even more discounts. I also look to see what's happening in businesses. So I check Kijiji, scroll through Kijiji, see if there's businesses for sale, what's happening in the area. Kijiji is gonna give you a good sign of what's happening and, and how people are dealing with their situation immediately. This is not something you're gonna find in banks or regular statistics. This is something you can see what's happening in real time. Other sites I look at is auction sites. But once we look at the auctions, we'll see that what's happening in real time and how these businesses are coping with the current situation in the economy. The other things I do is drive around again, like look at more areas, see what's happening around the area. 20 minutes later. Other things you wanna look at is other trends in, in real estate. So if you were to go on to the Edmonton Real Estate Stats or the Canadian Real Estate Association, you will find historic trends in real estate. And with today's economy, we can see that the trend has been sloping downward since 2014. So this shows that if you are looking at a property, you could expect that the price continually go down across all segments. This has been happening since 2014. It's not gonna happen drastically, but a lot of people right now, they're underwater in some of their mortgage products because of the fact that they purchased for too much. So in my other videos, I was telling you, you have to purchase like how the high rollers are purchasing and getting a good discount. I'm gonna run through um, one of the reasons here. I have um, some stats from before of what I was tracking. It goes back, I think, into March and April 2019. I was following a property and today that same property is up for sale and it's being sold at a 24% discount from the price. So if you're following the other videos when I said you need to ask for discounts, you would see that getting these discounts, you would be protected. Anyone who bought property in the high 600s and condos last year, they're basically lost about 100 to $150,000 in value. So my prediction for what's gonna happen in the future, I say next year, spring, we're gonna see more downwards pressure on the Edmonton real estate market. Right now, a lot of people are flooding to single family homes and that's actually picking up in sales. But in, throughout all the markets, we're gonna start seeing some downward pressure as people who basically did forbearance, they're gonna be paying, having to pay for their mortgages and then a lot of people might not be able to afford it because of the high unemployment rate that we have here. 
the low gas prices and everything else that's been happening over here. So I do expect to see more downwards pressure on the market. I do think you probably get another like probably 15 to 20 percent off a property and I hope when you're shopping for properties you do ask for some good discounts over here because you don't want to be the person who's underwater the following year. Anyway, thank you guys for checking out my video. Have a good one.